How are you feeling? Mm. Mr. Fredericks is off sick too. Rima's going crazy. I wish I was with you instead of in bathroom. Way, way, way too much info. Ugh. Why is it going crazy? Sub isn't here yet. Lucky. Hmm. Staring at Luke again? Maybe. But I don't think he even knows who I am. I can invite him to group chat. No! Lol. Just kidding. Substitute is so late. I hear footsteps in the hallway. He's here. Can you text me during class? That would be cool. LOL, gotta go. Mr. Florenta. Savage. No, he said we can use our phones. What? Best teacher ever. I knew it. Ugh, he's giving a speech on school safety. Ugh. Saying we should walk in groups. We should all be safer and more aware. Blah, blah, blah. He wrote, Fishing for kids on the board. Yawn. Oh my god. Totally creeping me out. Creeping you out? How? He's telling there are adults who fish for us. Hmm? They use different bait to lure us to them. Lure, it's his word. Oh my god, so creepy. Like, they use candy, cute animals, all different ways. So scary. We're like the fish and they put out worms. Oh my god, I so wish I was there. I love creepy stuff. He even told the creepiest story ever. Bait phone. Bait phone. There's a kid who found a phone outside her school. She picks it up and there's a cute boy on it. Her age. So she thinks it's a boy's phone. But it isn't. It was really some creep watching her from a nearby van. <gasps> he put the phone there as bait to try and get her alone. Teacher warned us to question things. And to make sure we keep safe. Scary story. But cool teacher to let you text during class. Yeah, he isn't here. He went to his car to get boxes of fishing books. Fishing books? Fishing for Kids is a real book that teaches bad guys how to hook kids. Written by Nancy James. He said if we read it, we'll know what to look for. And stay safe. Like, to look out for people at parks without kids. That's a place he says we let our guard down. <laughs> no parks for me. Change the subject, please. I'm totally creeped out. So now you're just there staring at Luke? No, I wish. We went with teacher to help carry books. And we're standing against the wall anyway. Hmm? It's a safety challenge. We have to face the wall and not turn around until they come back. What happens if you turn around? Nothing. I already did, lol. I don't know. Teacher said he'll say when they get back. Oh my god. Oh no. What? What? (laughs) 
What? Woman walked in and asked why we were standing against the wall. Huh? Why are you both crying? She said she was our substitute. Then who's the teacher with Luke? No one knows. They're both gone. School is on lockdown. Police trying to find them. Luke has not been found. If you see anyone reading Fishing for Kids, run. I'm a high school substitute teacher. Last week I found a phone in my classroom. This creepy text conversation was on it. I did something really bad. Oh yeah? I snuck into school last night around midnight. <laughs> Damn, lol. I could get in a ton of trouble for what I did, but I think she's worth it. She? Who? She, the new PE teacher. Ah, oh, yeah, she's so hot. So, what did you do? I went into the gym office and replaced the mirror. I put in a two-way I got off the internet. A two-way mirror? It's a mirror that looks like a real mirror, but lets you see them, but they can't see you. Like what they have in police interrogation rooms. It has a tiny video camera built into it. She'll have no idea I'm videoing her. Seriously? Yeah. Oh my god. You're my hero. What gave you the idea? My vacation in Japan. WTF? It's a public restroom in a park. Weird, right? What? It's upside down. How do you pee? I know, right? They have a lot of crazy stuff going on over there. This sign was outside the woman's. No peeping and peeping photo? Turns out they have a massive peeping tom problem in Tokyo, with men trying to look up women's skirts. Men actually stick small mirrors on their shoes. Get this, it's so widespread, there it's against the law if you take a photo and your cell doesn't beep. Wow. I was thinking how I could do something like it without getting caught, and I thought of the mirror idea. Oh my god. How about that girl Ray in 11th grade? The hottest junior ever. I'd love seven minutes with her. Yes, yes, yes. I'm buying another mirror online today. To put where? In the girl's locker room. I'll sneak back in tonight once everyone has gone home. Nice. They'll have no idea. Oh my god. I know where you have to put one. Where? In the girl's bathroom? Yes, of course. Just remember, no matter what, promise not to share the photos with anyone. We could get into a ton of trouble. No way would I say a thing. You can trust me. Come by after school and we can get popcorn and watch what we've taped. Awesome. That's where the text conversation ended. I put up a flyer saying I found a phone. I waited, wondering what to say to the student who came to pick it up. There was a knock on my classroom door. The principal entered and asked 
for his phone back. I could tell he knew I read his texts. The next day, I was told not to return to school due to a student complaint. I'm not allowed back on the premises. If you're a student reading this, please be warned. Check all the mirrors at your school. Someone may be watching you. Anya is in middle school. She texts her sister, who is at a different high school. Jules, are you there? New lunch lady is screaming at Maya. In class, can't text. She's making Maya cry. Nobody's doing nothing. Should I say something? Nah, not your problem. She's yelling at her in front of everyone. It's so sad. Maya is shaking. Why? What did she do? She won't eat the food. She's vegetarian and don't eat meat. Oh my god. She just threw Maya's tray on ground. Screaming, lick it up. Maya crying so bad. Lunch lady coming back with glass of milk. Oh my god. She poured it all over Maya. What? Everyone is laughing at her. Where are the teachers? Don't know, not here. Lunch lady threw glass against wall, smashed it. Said anyone else who has a problem with her food to let her know. Find a teacher. Maya ran out crying. Get a teacher. She says if anyone doesn't eat the food or stands up, they'll be next. Huh? Everyone's silent now. Get out of there. Okay. Oh my god. I ran out the door and she screamed at me to stay but I didn't look back. I see Maya. We're at the school office but no one's here. Maybe they're at a staff meeting or something. Try teacher's lounge. We're not allowed in there. Just do it. Inside, but no one is in here. Try principal's office. We knock, but he isn't answering. Go in. On our own? We'll get in trouble. Stop being stupid. Go in. Okay. We're in his office. He isn't here. Hmm? Try the gym. The sports field? Just find a teacher. Oh my god. Creepy lunch lady is in the hallway like she's looking for us. She went towards office so we went other way. We're hiding by vending machines. She is coming at us. No, she left school, went outside the street. She took off a wig and threw it on ground. Huh? We're going back to lunch hall. The door is locked. Locked? We're going around to back entrance. Going through kitchen. Oh my god. Huh? Lots of blood. Oh my god. Teachers are all here. Tell them you saw a lunch lady go outside. They're all dead. 
caught up. She was feeding us, the teachers. Oh my god, I'm calling 911. Are all the kids okay? We're going after her. What? No, don't. There are like 50 of us, only one of her. We're all going together. She won't get away with it. We got hockey sticks and knives. She's going down. Don't. Leave her to the police. No, we can deal. Please, I don't want to lose another sis. We see her. She might have a gun. Don't be stupid. Don't worry. I'll stay back. Please leave now. She's at the end of street. She's seen us. Get your ass gone now. It's 50 versus her. She doesn't stand a chance. No. She got picked up. Get the license plate. It was too far away. Who picked her up? A van. Who was driving? Don't know. Oh my god. Van came back. Run! They might drive the van into you. It's okay. We're safe shielded behind the parked cars. Don't be dumb. Let the police get them. It's their job. Police aren't here. Oh my god, they're driving this way. They stopped. Drop something. Then reversed. Damn, they got away. What did they drop? Paper. Don't go in the road, it might be a trick. They might come back and run you all over. Somebody already got it. What does it say? Hold on. Ugh. I just threw up. Maya threw up too. Feeling so sick. What was on the note? Hold on. I hope you enjoyed the Kool-Aid. Love, Nancy. Oh my god, Nancy? As in Nancy James, famous serial killer? Famous? Should I keep it? Maybe we could sell it. Or should I give it to the police? They're here now. Keep it. When no one's looking, slip it into your pocket. We can make bank. Okay, done. Nice. In 1978, 900 people died by mixing a mixture of Kool-Aid and poison, creating the phrase, don't drink the Kool-Aid. In 2017, the babysitter killer, Nancy James, killed, cooked, and fed teachers to an entire school. Before this, she served the kids drinks. Unfortunately, police did not know they were poisoned until it was too late. Rest in peace, Anya, 2005 to 2017. Hey friends, thanks for listening. If you enjoyed these, be sure to check out Don't Turn Around, where you can check out tons of terrifying archived text message stories that play out right before your eyes and click that notification bell to be alerted of all future narrations. If you got a story, be sure to submit them to my subreddit, our Let's Read official, and give and receive feedback from the community, and maybe even hear it featured here on the channel. And join my Discord to interact with me directly. 
And if you want to support me even more, grab early access to all future narrations for just $1 a month on Patreon, and maybe even pick up some Let's Read merch on Spreadshirt. All links in the bio. Thanks so much, friends, and I'll see you again soon.